Well, that was, uh, that was very fast uh, and very exciting. Shooting out of the ground, um, all 260 tons. We're traveling roughly at uh, 900 kilometers an hour. That's after 30 seconds. Um, so, naught to roughly 560 miles in, in uh, 30 seconds. We're burning the first stage, which burns roughly for two minutes. Um, w w we're burning four engines here, aren't we? That's correct, yes. Four engines uh, burning a liquid fuel. And for those who are interested, it's a bipropellant using amyl as an oxidizer and heptol as a fuel. Mm. And as you said, this will burn for approximately two minutes and it'll reach uh, about two and three quarter kilometers per second and an altitude of uh, 60 kilometers before it burns out. And we're tracking uh, the station, uh, tracking the vehicle. Cosmotras is uh, the, the company is tracking the launcher from ground stations in Baikonur and Oman. We can see here on the right hand side of the screen our trajectory. Uh, we're heading due south. That's correct. We're going over, as you said, Uzbekistan to Uzbekistan. And we go over, we clip a man. And here we have, uh, we can see on the animation, the simulation here, um, what you're looking at is separation of the stages. The first stage falls back to earth, ignition of the second stage. Um, this burns for about four minutes. So Cryosat is now en route and it's going to be doing some very exciting science in space. Almost 80% of the Earth's fresh water is locked up in the cryosphere, the snow, the ice and permafrost. Polar ice covers about 20% of our planet's surface, some 50 million square kilometers. It plays a crucial role in regulating the Earth's climate. Its melting is having a dramatic impact on the rise of sea level.